What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. And today I'm going to show you how to design this ornament in Adobe Illustrator. And then I'm going to cut it out on my Xtool D1 10 watt diode laser. Let's do this. All right guys, so we're going to be designing an ornament in Adobe Illustrator. I've done videos similar to this uh, for Lightburn. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll link that here. This is gonna be if you have a laser that has pr like proprietary software and won't let you design something in Lightburn. If you do have Lightburn, you can always export it as an AutoCAD file. But if you didn't pay for Lightburn because you've never had a laser before uh, and you have access to Adobe or something similar, this is how we would design it and then import it later. Okay, so as we hop into Illustrator, you'll see over here that I do already have some temps that I've already done, but we're gonna start a new one so you guys can see how to build these yourself. I'm going to use a five by five inch artboard and I'm gonna use two of them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and make a circle. And I'm gonna make that circle. I'm gonna come over here to my properties and I'm just gonna say that I want that circle to be 4.25. All right, I'm gonna grab the circle and I'm gonna move it to, I'm gonna move it around, well, no, nope. move it to about there. <clears throat> we'll grab it, we'll move it until we get it. It's not really center, is it center? Okay, I'm gonna copy, paste it again, and this one I want to be 3.75. I'm gonna grab this guy, and I'm just gonna put it right in the center of this one. There we go. Okay, and then we're just gonna join these. So you're gonna come into your Pathfinder, and this one is Unite. I'm just gonna, nope, oh, nope, I'm sorry. Minus them, they're gonna minus them because we're gonna minus out the center. But now that we've done that, when we grab one of these, they'll both move around. Okay. All right, and that's dead on center, but we're gonna bring this down. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna draw another circle. This one I'm going to make 0.75. Oh, it's like I take that because if it two points in. 75, all right, and then I'm gonna copy paste. I'm gonna grab this one and bring it over here. I'm gonna make that one 0.5. And then we're gonna take this one and put it in the center of this one. Just wait until it locks in. We are gonna grab both of these and we are going to minus the center. All right, so now this is a, this is a path and that's a path. Okay, that's gonna intersect up there. Grab this one and this is the one I always forget. I think we wanna unite these. There we go. We're gonna come back in here and this is, I'm gonna to try to stay like similar to the other one, but we're, it's gonna be obviously a little different because it would just be way too boring to do it the same way twice. Okay, so this is where we're gonna, oops. This is where we're gonna do our name. And so we're gonna twist this. And what I like to do is come in here and I like to stick with angles I'm familiar with. And so 22.5 is a good angle for me. And then I'm going to come up here again, grab this guy. We are going to select and select, and then we're just going to join those. Okay. Pretty easy so far, right guys? Okay, so this is where our name's going to go. We're not going to mess with that right now. Now we want to make this look a little Christmassy, right? So let's go grab something Christmassy. We're coming to Google. Let's go to Snowman. Snowman, I guess. SVG free. And then what I'm looking for is something, something along these lines here. Something that's black. And if it has anything in it, if it has any holes in it, they don't, they don't go all the way through. Like this image right here, this is a bad image as is. Uh, if you wanted to use this, we'd have to pull this down and pull this down, or you're, you're going to have these voids here. You're going to have to figure out something to do with those. When you have a, uh, when you have something you want to use that has, when you have something that you want to use, but it's got voids like that. Let's go two. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to grab our uh, direct selection tool. We're going to come up here to image trace. Click image trace, default. 
Once that pops up, we're gonna just click, oop, we're gonna expand. And then as you can see, now we've got all these little individual dots, right? So the first thing we wanna do is click out of there, click on the box and get rid of the box because we don't want the box, right? All right. Now let's work with this guy. All right. Oh, we got a white layer behind it. I didn't realize that. Okay, so get rid of that white layer. All right, we want to get rid of all of the white. This is going to be confusing in a minute. And we're going to get rid of the dot because the dot's not going to do anything. And then we've got two options here. We can either draw lines in between here to connect them, or what we can do, again, with our direct select tool, is just grab this and bring it down. Grab this, bring it down. Let me get rid of some of these. There's, don't think we need all those. Okay, so then we're gonna grab everything. We're gonna come over here to this tool right here. We're gonna unite everything. Okay, so now it's one image. Okay, and then we're gonna make this smaller. We'll bring you down here. And then we're gonna get back in. And obviously this little dude is way too big, right? So let's go back to our other selection tool and we're gonna just make them smaller and we'll turn them a little bit, right? And then we might get a little, we got, might get a little, little Bob Ross on you here and get him a little friend. And so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna hold shift when I do these. Reason being is um, I don't want them all to be the same. All right. And maybe we'll even turn this one a little bit so he's not, Exactly, and then let's copy and put one more in there. We'll put him over here, and we'll make him kind of short and short and stout, right? Put him over here like that, and then we'll bring this guy. Also, to make sense of things here, let's let's fill this with black and turn our stroke down to nothing. Okay, so this is what we're really looking at, right? Um, let's make him a little taller. It's always good to have some overlap on these guys. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this guy, we're gonna grab our ornament back, we're gonna unite, and then we're gonna do that for each one of these guys. And all that does is give us one thing. So you won't have, if, if, if you don't do that, the cut paths will stay there and it'll cut these out individually. So I did snowflakes in this last one. Let's do snowflakes again. And we're gonna come in here and let's back out a little bit because it's probably gonna be huge. Oh, nope, it's not that big. Come back into it. And again, we're gonna bring it down. Let's bring it over here so it's easier to work with. We are gonna image trace it. Come in here, direct select tool. Not direct selecting. Oh, I'm sorry, we gotta expand it. And then I always come out and just get rid of the, I wanna get rid of the box. Sometimes if it's right on there, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of because it's attached. It shouldn't be attached, but let's try this again. Ungroup, no, let's try it. Oh, still there. Oh no, that'll work. Okay, let's take, let's take rid of that, yay. And we want to do kind of the same thing. We're going to bring it over here, super obnoxiously big. So let's make it a little smaller, but let's try to get it. So it's touching, copy, paste, bring another one in here. Let's do like half a one. And then we'll try to do, grab one more, copy, paste, and put one, one more in here and get all crazy. Maybe not. Yeah, that looks a little busy. Maybe we won't do that. Let's look at this guy, bring it over here. Again, just, you know, kind of keep an eye on your points of contact and see where these, these uh, blue lines are now. If I don't join those, the laser will cut those lines out as well. So after you get this set, you want to just come in here and do that. I want to turn this one a little bit too. So let's turn that and then bring it over here a little bit more. Okay. And then grab that and bam. Now, there are two options here. You can put your name in here, but then every time that you're gonna use this ornament, you're gonna have to come into 
Adobe Illustrator to change that name because you're gonna have to change it to a path before you go downstairs or if the uh, software doesn't have the same font, it won't translate in here correctly. So I suggest save it off like this and then put the name on the ornament in LaserBox or whatever software you're using. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I just wanna kind of select around real quick and make sure that everything looks like it's one thing. And then I'm gonna save this, oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna export this as, I can never remember which one it is, so let me find it. Uh, DXF file. And then I'm gonna send it to the computer downstairs. We'll get into LaserBox and, uh, and, and manipulate a little bit further in there. Okay, now we're downstairs and we're gonna pull this into LaserBox. We're gonna import. Now, I did this just a second ago, and for whatever reason, I think it's because you can't save multiple artboards in a single AutoCAD file, but it didn't download our background, so we're just not gonna mess with that right now. Uh, we are gonna come in here. I don't know why it is, uh, it's making it so small. Hold, please. Oh, no, that's the right one. Okay, so they are, are both in there. When I did it earlier, I didn't see this one. So, I guess what I wanna do is, we just wanna hide this one for now. So we're gonna go zero passes on this one. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here in LaserBox and we are going to um, not use our pen tool. Don't do that. Whoops, stop that. Undo. Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna insert. I'm gonna come down to text and we're just gonna type Octavia because that is my other kid's name, Octavia. All right, and then let's zoom into that. <clears throat> and let's hand grab. And then we're just gonna decide what font we want this to be. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Um, the way we did Ozzy's, I kind of wanted to be, normally I would do kind of a script, but the way we did Ozzy's was kind of like more of a bold face. It was thick. So let's stick with something like that, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna grab this, select. And I just realized since we don't have multiple layers in here that I know of, um, we may have to just uh, get rid of that back layer for a minute. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn. I, uh, we, we write, Octavia's full name so infrequently we call her Tavi so uh, that looks weird to me but no that's right OCT Tavia okay so this is an engrave okay oh, okay so that that is gonna let us do a separate thing for that all right so what we want to do now is this engrave we're just gonna say it's basswood again and it's and it's gonna do its thing Okay, now we're gonna come over. <clears throat> we're gonna come over to the laser and uh, let's check it out. At this point, the laser head is still unlocked, so you can kind of position it where you wanna be. I'm just gonna start it up there. Uh, I'm using this new spoil board um, that I made out of just like some corrugated metal and those little spiky deals that you can get on like gloves and stuff. We'll see how it works. Okay, so now we're gonna hop back over into the software and this is a thing I haven't been able to show you guys before because uh, we didn't, uh, we, I couldn't do the screen recording. So we hit engrave, it's gonna take a minute to load up. Uh, I'm gonna run a frame on it real quick, which we should be good even if it does decide to engrave that backside piece, which I hope it doesn't. And let's see. It says it's gonna be about 15 minutes total time, and let's just give her the beans, man. Okay, and those pieces were falling out as I picked it up. So see that guy's already coming out. Normally you wanna push these out from the back just because the orientation of the laser, a lot of times it's, it's easier to do it this way. 
All right, guys, before we get to unmasking that, I just wanted to say thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Keep in mind that all of this information that you're getting from me on YouTube is absolutely free. I Good way to support the channel is to go check out my Patreon page. Couldn't do this without my patrons. These guys right here, they are the bomb. Especially my top tier or Boilermaker patrons, Stephen Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. Cheers, guys. It's water, but it's early. If you haven't had a chance to go check out my Patreon page, I'll put the link down below. Patrons get exclusive behind the scenes content. They get a special welcome gift from me. Higher tier patrons get build, dab, build swag and the occasional gift. And it's a great way to support the channel. Now let's get on to the results. These things are really tiny. These are the kind of things that like you may want to go in and, and tweak on and you know, so they pop out a little easier. And then the last part is you want to take the masking off. I recommend in the other video as well to keep your items on here big enough to where you, you're not just like having to dig out all the little pieces of masking. I mean, you'll get a couple of spots. I also restarted, you'll see this A is kind of like double done. I, uh, I restarted because I realized that I set the engrave without taking into consideration that I had masking on here. So the engrave wasn't going through the mask at first. So I just, uh, I just turned it, uh, turned the power up a little bit and turned the speed down a little bit in order to compensate for that. We have a little variation there, but you know what? My daughter is five and she's not gonna care. All right guys, so I just need a couple more minutes to get the rest of that, uh, that mask off. All right guys, so you can absolutely cut ornaments on uh, on a diode laser. So that was, uh, uh, that was the D1. Check out my video where I did it on the Artura as well. Definitely a pretty cool way to like supplement an income, especially around the holidays, selling personalized ornaments. Go check out Etsy, there's a ton of them. People love this stuff. Uh, if nothing else, uh, maybe for family and friends. You know, cut your teeth on them. Like, that's where you make your mistakes, <laughs> right? Use your family as your templates. And if you mess up a little bit, they'll understand because they're getting it for free. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for playing. And now I got to get to work.